children left without a mother after a deadly shooting inside a West Atlanta McDonald's. We just got an update from police. They say the call came in after 2.30 this afternoon. They found a woman shot at that McDonald's. She was taken to the hospital where she died. Homicide investigators are still working to get more details about what led up to the shooting. Thirty-year-old Tamanika Woods, affectionately known as Nini to family and friends, was a sweet, loving, and kind woman who loved spending time with her loved ones. Most importantly, she was a devoted mother to four beautiful children. No one could have ever predicted that an unexpected turn of events would change Tamanika and her children's lives forever. Just before 3 p.m. on December 27th, Atlanta police responded to a McDonald's off Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard Southwest in Atlanta's West End neighborhood for reports of a shooting. Upon arrival, they would locate the body of an unresponsive adult female. Breaking news in Southwest Atlanta. Police are investigating a deadly shooting on Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard. Courtney Francisco, you got to the scene about an hour ago, right before Channel 2 Action News at 4. So what have you been able to find out? Well, police just gave us an update. George and tell us a woman was the person who was killed inside this McDonald's. I want to give you a closer look right now. I have asked police if they know who shot her, if they've made an arrest, and I'm waiting on that information. Officers only saying at this hour that this is an ongoing and active investigation. You can see officers still have the McDonald's roped off with crime tape. You see police officers on the other side inside the restaurant. We can see more police officers and we can see crime scene investigators snapping photos of evidence inside the restaurant. This is a busy area. There's a shopping center across the road. Listen to what one man told me as he learned what happened. I do shop at this store and I've been living in this area for the better part of 20 years now and the area's changing a lot. So but this is shocking, you know, especially a place that's frequented by so many people, you know, and uh, a lot of young people, a lot of families. And and you can still see police cruisers are parked on the side of the road here, but it hasn't really snarled traffic too much. There have been some slowdowns, but there are no roadblocks. And we have reached out to McDonald's for a statement, and we're waiting on that. The Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office identified the victim as Tamanika Woods, who was taken to Grady Memorial Hospital, where she was sadly passed away after succumbing to a gunshot wound. According to eyewitnesses, Tamanika was shot during an escalating dispute with another customer inside of the McDonald's, when at some point the customer pulled out a gun and fired a single shot, striking Tamanika. Before the suspect could flee the scene, customers inside of the restaurant managed to hold her down until police arrived to the scene. No children were inside of the restaurant during the shooting, and the McDonald's has since reopened. Rachel Mitchell, a local McDonald's owner and operator, released a statement saying the following. We are deeply upset by the senseless act of violence that took place at our West End location yesterday. Our thoughts are with the victim's family and loved ones, and we have offered our full support to the Atlanta Police Department as part of their investigation. We're directing any further questions to local law enforcement at this time. Four young children left without a mother after a deadly shooting inside a West Atlanta McDonald's. Now at noon, the victim is being identified and the suspected shooter is in custody. So the Fulton County Medical Examiner has now confirmed that Tamanika Woods was killed at the restaurant on Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard yesterday afternoon. Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery is live there with new information on this victim. Madeline. Hey, we're here at the McDonald's and it's been a little bit less than 24 hours and they already reopened. You would never know that this was a crime scene where a mother was shot and killed, according to police. This is Tamanika Woods. To friends, 
She was Nini. The medical examiner confirming she's the victim of a deadly shooting here at the McDonald's in West End. Atlanta police telling us an argument led to a woman they say is in her 20s shooting Woods. We're told by witnesses that people inside of the restaurant held down the suspected shooter until police could arrest her. She's a very good mother and she's a great person and she will be missed. She's very sweet, family oriented young lady. Police have not shared the name of the person they've arrested for this shooting, but they confirmed that Woods nor that person arrested actually worked at this restaurant here. For now. Victim with a gunshot wound to her body. She was transported to Grady Hospital and succumbed to her injuries. Uh, while on scene, uh, we spoke to witnesses and persons who were at the restaurant, and we had a, per a female detained as well. Uh, according to the witnesses, the, the female detained uh, was involved in a shooting incident. Currently, uh, witnesses and, that's, uh, and that person of interest is being interviewed at the uh, police headquarters as we speak. Uh, we're working with uh, the business as well to, to secure sur surveillance footage to assist with the investigation. At this time, no, we don't believe uh, we don't believe there were uh, just adults inside of the business. It seems like the the motive appears to be an escalating dispute between customers. Uh, none of the involved parties are uh, employees of the business. So the victim is believed to be between 30 and 35 years old, and the suspect between 20 and 25 years old. No, these were uh, folks that were inside of the, the restaurant that, that saw what happened. Uh, some uh, concerned citizens that, that held this person and detained until officers arrived on scene. The people? Correct, correct. Wow, wow. Have they ever been in court? There was one woman shooting another woman? It appears, yes, there was uh, one, uh, the victim is a female and so is the suspect. Uh, there was a dispute inside of the, of the restaurant and one person was shot once and the victim was shot once. It appeared, yes, it's heading in that direction that is, she is a suspect for it. We just heard him talking about how it sounded like there was a dispute in between two customers inside the McDonald's, no employees involved, two women. One woman shot another woman one time. That woman was pronounced dead, and it sounds like other customers inside that witnessed this dispute actually held that person down until police arrived and made that arrest. Yeah, certainly a tragedy this afternoon. 19-year-old Tania Evans was arrested and is being held at the Fulton County Jail. She was charged with murder, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and theft by receiving stolen property. The case remains ongoing.